Welcome back. Welcome back to Kenton and Habiba. If you're new here, my name is Habiba and I make lifestyle videos, cooking videos, vlogs, shopping hauls, and today I have a luxury, <laughs> luxury shopping haul. So, so a couple of weeks ago, I shared a vlog where my husband and I went up to Charlotte because I wanted to go to the Chanel boutique because unfortunately here in North Carolina there is only one Chanel boutique and it's in Charlotte so we drove about three hours to that location so it's Memorial weekend we're going three hours <laughs> all the way to Charlotte <laughs> because she's extra racing up oh, here's Chanel or at least the makeup and I bought a number of things which I did not show you so today we're gonna do an unboxing and uh, how it started was how it started was <laughs> before I start opening it is that I really wanted a wallet I wanted a functional wallet here is my wallet this wallet I have had for probably 10 years and it has served me well and it's still good. See, it's a Michael Kors wallet. It's uh, pretty long or, you know, one of the larger wallets. The problem is that it's so big and bulky. I have like all my IDs and every ID I've ever had is in here. So this became kind of the uh, memory box, if you will, where I store every card my cards kenton's cards so i have my ids from college in here um i have every license that i've ever owned and i've owned several because i've lived in california new york south carolina north carolina and then there are medical license i've been basically stuffing this wallet and i've been carrying it everywhere so the challenge is that whenever I use smaller bags, this wallet is too big, way too big, too big. And so what I started doing is I would leave it in the car and then I would take out, you know, the IDs that I need and put it in my smaller handbag and go. But see, here's the issue. Sometimes I would get to where I need to go and realize I don't have my ID with me because, you know, I didn't want to carry this purse and I took out my license and moved it and put it in another bag because especially when you change bags, you get the point, right? So I decided I wanted a smaller wallet. So we've been living in North Carolina for literally... I don't know how long we've been living in North Carolina, but we've been living in North Carolina for a long, long time, okay? Since the kids were about six, seven years old, and now they're in their early 20s. So anyway, I decided to go on uh, Chanel's website because I bought a number of beauty products from Chanel before. I've got like their mirror, I've got lipstick, their tissues, you know, beauty products right but i have not bought a leather good from chanel since i've lived in north carolina no so the last time i was in a chanel boutique or visited chanel was when we lived in new york many many years ago so i did not realize you cannot just go online and buy chanel no ma'am you cannot do that <laughs> not if you don't have an essay essay being sales associate so anyway, I go on the Chanel website and I'm looking and I'm scrolling and I'm like, ooh, this is nice, this is nice, this is pricey, this is crazy pricey, but whatever, I'm going to buy myself a wallet. So I thought I would buy this wallet for my birthday, but I have obviously have noticed the Chanel prices have gone up and they will continue to go up. And Kenton was like, you know, we should get it now. You should try to get it now. So I go on there and I try to order because I had the money to order the wallet that I wanted. I wanted the classic flap from Chanel, but it was like, uh, no ma'am, you cannot order it. You have to come in store in person. So that is why we took that trip to Charlotte, three hours to Charlotte, just to go to the Chanel boutique. I was wow. actually looking for a wallet. A wallet. My. So the wallet, I was looking yesterday for you. Let me put my gloves. It's so cute. <laughs> 
exactly one. Yeah. The other yeah, two. but you're right. This is that one. So I start cold mm. and go. The one I have is medium. Oh, right. Yeah, this is small. And then this one is the 22. I was very happy. It was a very nice experience. I loved it in there. Well, who wouldn't? It's nice to dream. <laughs> I've worked hard. I deserve it. And so I bought myself some Chanel. Without further ado, let me show you what I bought. So I'm telling you that I bought some Chanel, but I also bought some things from Coach because we went to the uh, luxury boutique outlet and I also bought some perfumes from um, Newman Marcus. So first of all, the tissue, <laughs> the tissue got wet. Remember that day it was raining. Oh, my poor well. So the tissue got wet, but it's okay. It's okay. We don't need her. Here she is. Isn't she adorable? Oh, I love their packaging. Oh, I love their packaging. I love the little camellia. This should have been the thumbnail, right? This should have been the thumbnail. But this is not the thumbnail. <laughs> I already made the thumbnail. So, my dear, welcome home. Welcome home, welcome home, welcome home. Now, some of you are probably thinking, Habiba, you're being so dramatic. It's just a wallet. Honey, it's not just a wallet. It's a Chanel wallet. And I paid for it with my hard-earned money. <laughs> so it means a lot to me. Chanel always reminds me of New York City and growing up in the 80s and thinking about or learning about couture houses and all the luxury brands. And as a teenager, of course, I couldn't afford any of this stuff, but I always looked up to ladylike fashion. I appreciate classic design and I've always enjoyed fashion shows and things like that. So even though I went into medicine, fashion and luxury have always been an interest. So I just wanted to show you, for example, this is a bag I use quite a bit. This is a coach bag, Cassie. And you can see she's not a large bag, but she's not a tiny bag either. I would say she's small. Previous purse. See, she's not fitting in. So that's why this cute little beauty fits in easily. Ta-da! <laughs> and then this, of course, fits in even more beautifully in my classic flap. Mommy and baby! Mommy and baby! Now you see the inspiration for this wallet. <laughs> there is a logic to the madness, okay? See, I have come to realize the reason I am broke and the reason you are broke or don't have money is because you don't have a purse to put it in. See, once you buy a nice purse, the money will start flowing. You get me? You get the purse and the money will just start flowing into the purse. <laughs> don't listen to me, y'all. I'm joking. Don't listen to me. <laughs> but, uh, oh, I'm so happy. I'm so happy with her. 
She's cute and she's adorable. Adorable. Child, look at that receipt. Oh my goodness. But seriously though, I play a lot, but live within your means. Don't ever feel pressured to buy things you can't afford or just because you see it on social media. No, buy what you can afford and then you can avoid that look that I am having right now looking at that receipt. Like, girl, what'd you do? What'd you do? <laughs> Top note is bergamot, fair, amber, and sand. Sand has a smell or, or a, uh, a scent. I guess it does. The middle note is rose, patchouli, black pepper. The base note is oud, amber, sandalwood, musk, and honey. Definitely super exotic and mysterious. Let me read what it says. Barefoot admits the charm and mystery of fire in a desert camp, the warm, sensual notes of a strange night in the wilderness, soothing, spicy fragrance, the evocative power of roses, and the ancestral and reassuring perfume of honey. All of them are celebrated in the power of the flame. My Lord, this goes on and on. Actually, no, there's one more paragraph. This fragrance completely embodies the spirit of the infinite mystery and freedom. We like freedom. <laughs> the precious notes of natural oud provide the intensity and fear found in the darkest nights. My goodness, who writes these things? <laughs> ah, it comes in different languages, including, this looks like, I don't know, this looks like Russian and maybe Greek and Arabic. She is a big deal. She is a big deal. Tizana Terenzi since 1968. Interesting pictures in there too. But yeah, definitely smells like another country. Not American. <laughs> Exotic. So interesting. It's like discovering the world through perfume. You know, doing something new. Oh, this was the one that I almost bought as well. But this, this bottle of perfume by itself, just this one bottle was like over $600. Yeah, it was over $600. I was like, no honey, we need to pass. We're gonna have to pass on this one. The Sea Stars Collection. But I gotta say, I really like how this smells. It's giving me rich Dubai, Abu Dhabi. <laughs> Maybe that's where I'm next supposed to go, right? You never know. You never know. You got to keep an open mind when it comes to life. You make one plan and God makes another plan or has another plan for you. Something else in here. And I got this bag. All right, what's in this? I think this might be what I actually went there for. I think this might be the Chanel perfume. Yes. Yes. This is the Chanel perfume. Coco Mademoiselle Chanel. I didn't get the number five because I don't like how that smells. But I like this one. 
and actually this was reasonably priced especially this is the 50 ml so i didn't buy the giant bottle um, this is the smaller bottle you know i went there trying to be financially reasonable and um conservative and then i ended up with a bottle that costs almost as much as the chanel purse that i went for figures because there's always you know the part of you that's like be frugal be frugal spend wisely don't spend save 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 and then there's the part of me that's like honey you deserve it all <laughs> buy big buy what you want you got it like that <laughs> I'm not here trying to pretend like I got it like that. I don't. But I have enough. And you know what? I have you guys to be thankful for. Because believe it or not, making YouTube videos is quite lucrative. So for those who think that being a content creator is not a job, you are highly mistaken. Because I don't know anywhere where they just give you money if you don't work right you have to work in order to get money right so i would like to feel that i make content i make it look easy when in fact it is work it really is you don't know how many hours at night i stay up editing and how many hours i actually do research especially when it comes to you know serious matters or medical issues or dietary issues there is work required there is work required when it comes to learning how to use new equipment i mean the point is making youtube videos or being a content creator is work and if it wasn't work, everybody would do it. Now you're probably thinking, well, everybody does do it. Everybody has a phone. Everybody's filming nowadays. You're right. But is everybody making money? No. So anyway, let me enjoy my stuff. <laughs> my husband approves. I approve. More importantly, and I made this money and I wanted to spend a little bit on myself. Thank you very much. Now, I know most of you, it's all love, but, you know, there's going to be those few have something smart to say to me. Um, here we go. Look, she's adorable. Coco Chanel. And I don't think I'm going to spray her after I spray this other perfume because this gold rose oud, she is heavy. She is heavy. She is different. She is exotic. And she might clash with this Coco Chanel. But this is giving me very feminine, very light, very slightly florally, slightly powdery. Yeah, I love it. Love it, love it, love it. All right. So this is all samples that I was given. Something in this black pouch. Let's see. And a whole bunch of little samples in here. All right, let's start with these. Oh my goodness, so many little perfumes. Well, you know what? When you spend a bit, quite a bit, <laughs> they are happy to give you samples. Happy to give you samples. Oh, these are some of the, um, you know, some of the same brand as this one. So I have this extract. Uh, natural spray orion and then this one is andromeda andromeda which andromeda andromeda is that how you would say it andromeda and this one is i don't know how to say this but nishane extract the perfume hasivat these are the really fancy expensive ones but she was so nice to give me all these samples and then this one, Credo, Nishane. Oh, I guess you see the names on the top would be the individual sets. So this one's Tiro, Credo, Hasavet. And then this one is this particular brand. Orion, Orion, Orion or Orion? Orion or Orion? You know, I said I wasn't gonna spray another perfume, but let's try Orion and see. Come on, Orion. Oh. This one, I feel like a man could even wear this one. It's giving very sort of masculine. Overall, I would say I don't like this one as much. I don't like this one as much. I'm not sure how to describe it beyond saying it's kind of masculine. It's giving woods, in the woods, forest, 
masculine. Okay, so we gonna put <laughs> Orion, Orion, Orion away. Um, so I would not get that for me personally, but if you like those sort of ambiguous type of scents or a sense that cross over male and female, because some people do, you might like that. Now let's see Andromeda, Andromeda. And all of these are made in Italy. Nice. Okay. Hmm. This one I like. I like this one a lot. This one smells very sweet. Sweet, powdery, um, feminine, pretty, exotic. Yeah. Part of the Luna Creek collection, Andromeda. This one's really nice. I like this. So what I tend to do is the ones that I like when it comes to samples, just like um, I like this Gucci Flora. I haven't bought this yet, but I kept the you know little pack with a little paper because they put the little samples on the inside. And I know that I like this, this Gucci Flora. So I'm gonna buy this in the future. So this I will keep with that. Um, so that I know in the future what I like and what I want to get. Oh, I also like this one, Jimmy Choo. Anybody else try this? Jimmy Choo Let's Bloom. Yeah, I definitely want to get this. So I'm keeping this probably for my birthday at some point. Okay, and then in here, I think this is some of the samples that she was actually filling up or I watched her fill up, I think. Yeah, this one, but let's see. Oh. You twist it. You twist it. <laughs> Goofy me. <laughs> you twist it. It almost looks like a giant lipstick, doesn't it? Okay, let's see. My goodness, I'm running out of space. Mm. Nice. Another exotic scent. I think it's in the same family as this one. I really lucked out, man. That lady hooked me up. That's all I can say. She really did. Very sort of expensive. That's what she smells like right now. <laughs> and then what's this? Uh, oh, okay. Oh, I think, is this the little candle? How adorable. It's like a little candle. Um, Isha, Isha Orchid, 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 what am I saying Orchid, Orchid, White Glass, made in Italy, um, scented candle, cute, 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 oh, so adorable, so adorable, and it's got one of those, you know, those sort of wood wicks, it's not, um, it's not the regular thread or rope, or regular wick, it's the one that kind of crackles when you burn it. You wanna smell rich, and you wanna smell like you just got back from Dubai. <laughs> Here are the scents. Okay, so that's it for fragrances. So as we were leaving Charlotte, we ended up stopping at a luxury outlet mall. You know, one of those malls you see when you're traveling. I've never stopped at one before. I've always thought I wanted to stop by. I mean, maybe years ago we have, and they had all the different big designers um, discounted. Some of them were kind of nice and some of them not so nice. Sometimes what they do is they sell the items that are of poorer quality, not well made, um, and they sell them discounted. And sometimes it's like a mishmash of different items. And, um, but they also had the specific designers had their own specific stores too. So for example, I went into the Michael Kors one. I think I showed you that before. If not, I'll put a little clip. Um, and then I also went into Coach because Coach is a very uh, reliable, I would like to say a very reliable brand. And if you're thinking designer or if you're thinking luxury, I would say Coach is sort of the less, expensive of the designers or the less expensive of the brands but yet really well-made quality um 
I have a number of coach bags and they are all well made and I know that they will last for years to come. And this was not expensive at all, at least not expensive in my book. Um, she is a cute little bag. Very small, very impractical, but very fashionable and very ladylike, I will show you. I have not opened it since I've been home. Um, and that was a couple of weeks now. And you will not believe it, but I also, you might remember seeing this in that vlog. <laughs> I bought this little adorable coach bear. Little adorable coach bear. So this could be like a keychain, but it can also just be um, a little ornament for your bag, whatever you like, or you can dress up whatever um but it's so cute it's got this little gold ring there's a little tag here a little gold tag a little belt this is actually part of the packing let's move this off let's move this off and this is going to go on not the bag i bought but for one of my other bags because she's she's a chunky bear um <laughs> she's got paws or fingers, nails, and you see her nose is made out of the typical hardware. In fact, yeah, this is like a miniature of the hardware that's on one of my bags. Okay, so this bag, I'm sure you've seen me wear this several times, right? See how I was telling you the hardware on here? Looks like the nose on this bear. So anyway, I thought about her when I picked up this bear, so I'm gonna put it on the Bag. It just makes it fun, you know? I'm kind of a playful person when I'm not serious. <laughs> right? You see that? I mean, you know, I have to be in that type of mood. When I'm in that type of mood, she's perfect. When I want to be serious, the bear comes off. Actually, I think it would be perfect with this backpack bag. Um, you know, you're just going to be outside and you need your hands free. She's on my back and you can see her. So I could put her from the side like that. Isn't that fun? Ah, that's so cute. That's so cute. If you're ever curious about things that I am buying or something that I bought and you want to get it for yourself, just check the description box because I have linked like to know it so like to know it is an app or a program where content creators can list all the things that they're buying and you can have direct links to it to the item anyway let me show you what it looks like with this bag do you see the bear is she there <laughs> she's so adorable let's open the bag so every woman likes a little bit of luxury wants to feel pampered uh, but also, if you've been watching me for a while, you'll know that um, even if I like the nice things, I also don't mind shopping things that are regular and inexpensive and discounted, hence the Timu hauls, right? Um, Timu actually has turned out to be sort of a fun little thing because you literally can go on that website and pick out a whole bunch of stuff for very little money. So anyway, look out for a Timu haul coming soon and I will include Kenton, of course, in that. I'm the type of person that, hey, if it's expensive, I'ma make it look good. If it's cheap, I'ma still make it look good. So it's not about the price. It's really about how the item makes you feel and how you wear it and how you carry yourself. I mean, Yes, I am always confident and yes, I like to dress well and all those things. But I honestly don't always buy things for myself. I like to buy things for my children. Um, and Kenton was like, you know, you, you're constantly working because, you know, he's studying right now. So guess who's working? Moi, okay? Anyway, so he always reminds me that you work so hard, you should treat yourself. You should treat yourself. And so that's what I did, happily so. Okay, so this is what she looks like. I've taken off all the packaging. Wait, what about here? All right, isn't she adorable? Look at that. 
I'm gonna take off the tags because you know some people keep tags on like they're gonna return it or they just want you to know it's new no me I buy my stuff because it's going to be worn Wow this says $430 Canadian dollars and 350 USD I did not spend that y'all I did not spend that I think it was half off yeah it was half off so basically a little over a hundred dollars is what I spent on this bag which is pretty good uh, considering again the hardware very nice that's what I said coach makes very qu good quality um, so you can wear it with just the top handle and I don't know if you can see from the scale this is a small bag this is not a big bag at all look she's she's small so it's got the coach logo if you're into logos I don't really care I just like a bag and in the front here it's got this plain white and this would be you know the durable type of leather and she is leather and I like the um, handle top handle and the little keychain little tag here the strap is quite long which is nice I could actually see wearing this even with jeans or sweatpants it'll dress up anything so yeah I want you to see the scale as you can see this bag is very small and dainty and I showed her to Mariam and Mariam was like mommy that bag looks very impractical it's not gonna hold anything but let me tell you surprisingly this bag holds quite a bit in fact it held everything that i needed i took out everything from my current bag and transferred it into this mini beauty and i love it thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this little luxury haul i certainly enjoyed unboxing it <laughs> let me know what your favorite item was and what else you might like me to try and again look out for a timu haul coming soon and more vlogs and more cooking and more traveling and more living because that's what life is for to be lived right so don't forget to thumbs up. It really helps the videos. It helps the algorithm. It helps to share my videos with other people. I work more. I make more money. And yeah, thank you so much because of you, I get to do what I love to do, which is to entertain, to teach, to share, and uh, yeah, to make new friends like you. So God bless and thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon. Bye!